So a couple of days ago I competed in FameLab Australia and over two days we had some coaching by the dashing, the daring, the fair dinkum, Dallas Campbell. And one of the important things he said, in addition to always being on time to the minute, is that before a performance, warming up and stretching is really important. So on the first day, we were about to start and he asked if any of us did yoga and I put my hand up and I said, I do gymnastics. And he was like, all right, come over here, you're leading the warm up. So I led the warm up and I also led the warm up on the second day. And because of that, I had to be on time and not fashionably late. So I'm making this video so that you can never forget my fabulous warm up and so that you can do your warm up every day before a performance or before any sort of um, activity and I recommend doing it every day because it's really grounding and it's great for your flexibility. So here it goes. So we start off with our head, also don't mind the white wolf in the background. Start off with our head looking up at the sky and I hold each of my poses for about um, 50 seconds. honeybee just landed in my hair like literally <laughs> I don't know if you can see it so yeah there's a honeybee in my hair obviously I'm a flower oh and now it's on my hand I really am the bee baby <laughs> oh wait um getting back to this um, <laughs> putting your head down on your chest Looking to one side. To the other side. Putting your nose down to see if you put deodorant on this morning. And rolling your head slowly over to the other armpit. Alright, putting one hand across your chest, pushing it in, keeping your arm nice and straight. And the other arm. Lifting your arms up, putting one behind your back. And the other arm. Okay, putting your arms behind your back, clasping your hands together and lifting up. Try and lift as high as you can. If it's a bit high, you can lean forwards. If you want a challenge, try and keep the back straight. Okay, standing on one leg. We can bring your foot up to your butt, keeping your knees together, trying to keep a nice straight line all up and down your body. If you have trouble balancing, try and look at a spot on the ground or on the wall and just focus on that. Okay, bringing your knee up to your chest. Other knee up to your chest. Putting your 
legs apart, squatting, pushing your knees back. Bringing one shoulder in. Bring the other shoulder in. This should stretch along there. Going down into our mermaid position. Trying to not let your um, ears go down to your shoulders, but trying to keep a nice long neck. Pushing down into the ground. For a challenge, you can bring your hands closer into your hips. Trying to get your hips on the ground. Okay. Then going back into, I think this is called downward dog. <laughs> Trying to push your shoulders into the ground. Okay, now stretching out our wrists, so putting your palms facing that way, fingertips to your knees, putting them on the ground, mm -hmm. then gently leaning back. And then the other way this time, we're putting the backs of our hands on the ground. Okay, now into our butterfly sit. So putting your feet together, and making little butterfly wings and trying to get them as far down on the ground as you can and then reaching down and sniffing your toes okay now legs straight out in front point your toes squeeze your knees arms up and we're going to um, reach for 10 times and then on the 10th we're going to hold for 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Try and squeeze your knees. Now bending your knees, putting your arms behind your knees and pulling back, curving your back and this should stretch across your shoulders. Now bring one foot up, putting your ankle on your knee and leaning forward and this should stretch your butt muscles. Other leg. Okay, now up into straddle. Leaning over to one side. my left leg because I'm left legged. So putting your left leg forward, leaning forwards. <laughs> and then leaning back and touching your knee on your leg. And then gently going down into split.
try and keep your hips square. So get your belly button, make sure it's facing in front because if it's facing that way, then you're cheating. Sliding out and right leg, the right leg in front, leaning forwards. Leaning back, nose to your knees, and sliding down into splits. Alrighty, so that's the end of our flexi warm-up and now you're all ready to go and perform.